some book previews. Hello, nice to see you again. It's Sherry from What Children Really Want. Today I'd like to recommend this book, A Story About a Fear. It was written by the celebrated late Jamaican poet James Berry OBE and illustrated by Anna Kunha. Some people have dresses for every occasion, but Afia needs only one. Her dress records the memories of her childhood, from roses in bloom to pigeons in flight, from tigers at the zoo to October leaves falling. A joyful celebration of a young girl's childhood. Afia is a Swahili name, meaning health. And every day, Afia wakes up to a brand new day and a clean white dress, ready for her adventures to begin. Let's have a fun look inside. The illustrations in this book are absolutely breathtaking. This little girl is Afia. Look at her dancing. Doesn't she look magnificent? She has fine black skin and it shows off her white clothes. What a beautiful hairstyle! And I love how she dances barefoot. Under a starlit sky, we see Afia hanging up her white dress. She calls it her summer frock. It's a very special frock and I'll let you know why. Every night she washes it and every single day it changes. For example, Afia passes sunflowers. They get imprinted on her frock all over. How pretty! Afia has walked past some red roses. Can you see what's happened? Look at her dress. We see her surrounded by tropical nature as well. Wonderful. What do you think Afia is like? I get the sense of feeling that she is very relaxed and at ease with herself, full of love and confidence, just like we all should be. As she walks through the high grass, we see her covered in big pastel coloured butterflies. How many butterflies can you see? Do you think one of these houses could be Afia's house? Let's go and have a closer look. This one must be Afia's house. What could she be looking at? Ah, I see her dress. Can you? There it is on the washing line, blowing in the wind. And look! All of the flowers and butterflies that her dress had collected are gone. It's cleared and ready, hanging white as new paper. On this day, when Afia wears her frock, it gets decorated with white pigeons. And there's too many to count. Afia goes to the zoo. Which animals do you see? Do you think Afia's dress will collect some of the zoo animals? Wow, it looks like it will. That sure is a wonderful dress. I wonder where she'll go next and what her special dress will also collect next. Afia and her frock go on to gather a few more things. But I won't give the whole story away because I'd like you to explore and experience the book for yourself. Good night, Afia. It was a pleasure meeting you and your dress. Sweet dreams. Would you like to have clothes that collect things as you go past them? Yes, 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 I would. No, 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 I wouldn't. That would be awful. Yes, yes, that's nice. No, 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 it's horrible. Yes, no, yes, no.
This was a book preview and recommendation for A Story About Afia by James Berry. It has 32 pages and it's aimed at 5 to 8 year olds. The link is in the description box below. See you in my next fun book preview.